Expect from a free kick in a World Cup final. I'm glad you listen to me sometimes, righty. Anyway, it's a kickoff here for Brazil. We're about to start the World Cup final of 2002, the first one of the new century. And it's Brazil straight away from the kickoff, pressing forward. Trevor Brooking hasn't had a chance to speak yet from earlier in the tournament, otherwise he wouldn't have played in this final, rather like Balak. Now then, Cleberson for Brazil. Ronaldinho coming in from the far side. And taken cleanly by Kahn. Oh, and they've fooled them here. Neuville could have gone anywhere, really. Can Brazil smuggle it away? Numbers up there for a set piece, Germany. They could just create that one opportunity that could be crucial. And so could Brazil. Cleberson. In. And by Schneider as well. Good play by Germany. Closer is in the middle and so closes there. Oh, well, Closer was close. Fantastic defending by Ed Milson at number five. This is closer. Schneider did well. Closer and uh, Neuville in the middle. Oh, and closer goes in. It's a goal kick. Or is it? No, it's a corner. Advantage played by the referee, and uh, it was Ronaldinho who took advantage. And Ronaldo's in here! And you had to look twice to make sure he'd missed. Well, that was just the situation Brazil had waited. Well, opening 20 minutes for terrific ball from Ronaldinho. What does he hit it with the outside of his left foot? He seems to be he's got caught in two minds. Shall I shoot from guys? His weaker foot. And it was Boda who came in at the back. And Metzelder's still in there. And Brazil once again not clearing comfortably. Near the halfway line. He's back on the halfway line. Here he is again, Ronaldo. This is Ronaldinho, and Ronaldo's in here for Brazil! And Oliver Kahn is able to make the save at Ronaldo's feet. That's where they want him, right near the penalty area. You've got to say, it's been a scrappy performance. Brazil, though, have had two golden opportunities. And now Jeremis. The shot's on for Jens Jeremis. Only scored once in uh, third yet to solve the puzzle. But here's Cleberson for Brazil. He's right in here, Cleberson. I'm afraid Cleberson rather clobbered the shot. <laughs> On his left foot. Uh, what, the first indecision. I mean, I think the two pre... Ronaldinho. Cleberson now. Oh, he's hit the bar. A breathtaking effort from Cleberson. But Khan can breathe again. Well, on his right foot, they probed away, didn't they? Worked it out to the left. They knocked it into that dangerous area. Oh, survived. Another scare. Ronaldinho back to Roberto Carlos. Driven low across. Anybody's hole could save Oliver Kahn. Ronaldo. From, from Ronaldo again. This is a personal tussle now between the goalkeeper and the top scorer as the whistle goes for half time and Khan has won it at the moment whether it's Handel that's the Cleverson effort off the bar but just then Khan on this occasion was beaten but on the other three occasions that mattered he got the better of Ronaldo this was a ball in by Roberto Carlos right on half time the defender doesn't really get hold of it there Metzelder and it was Khan again who are excellent on the ball um, you know pushing forward more trying to get a grip and control into the midfield area and certainly the supply then is going to be better for the likes of Ronaldo Ronaldinho and Rivaldo so can Brazil beat Oliver Khan that's the big question at the beginning of the second half he's only conceded one goal as I said in the championship so far Well, it was Jeremis, <laughs> and <laughs> everybody seemed to just stand still and gasp there. Brazil have some... But this looks like being Neuville. And it is Neuville! Oh, and they hit the post! Germany. 
Well, I couldn't believe that he was going to shoot from that distance and get the power, but look, he goes round, swerving with the outside and the faintest of touches by Marcos onto the post. His feet and Ronaldo tried a couple of step overs, but he couldn't sell it's the dummy. It's been played short to Roberto Carlos and Milson's arriving. Oh, and Khan has saved it again. Unbelievably from Gilberto Silva, I think. Fantastic save. Drifted it, Roberto Carlos, towards the far post. Two of them coming in, and he's really got the foot. There he is. Rivaldo is the first man, but it's Gilbert. Oh, well, Harmon! Well, Dietmar Harmon, the last man to score at Wembley. Who? Ronaldinho. Oh, is that Cafu on the run again? And oh, he played it across the six-yard box ahead of Ronaldo and, and uh, Rivaldo. This is Schneider. Oh, stretching there was Neuville. It was unlucky. Schneider worked the opportunity well, just clipped it in. Probably is a little bit firm. Neuville just tried to hook it and help it on, but it went too fast and it was past him before he could get the touch. So is to his right. But again, Ronaldo just runs into trouble. This is Harmon. Ronaldo wins it back. Now can he find Rivaldo? Yes, he can. Rivaldo! Oh, it's come off guard! Rivaldo! Brazil in front! It's Ronaldo! A mistake by Oliver Kahn after all the great saves he's made. And the man who pounces is Ronaldo with his seventh goal of the tournament and his 11th in World Cup finals. Rivaldo has the shot, Kahn fumbles, and Ronaldo makes up for 1998 by steering in the rebound. It's Brazil 1, Germany 0. Well, what an irony. Kahn has been magnificent, spills it. The two R's to his left. Or well, two of the three, I should say. Rondinho's dropped back a bit here. Cleverson. Rivaldo's dummy, Ronaldo! It's 2-0! And Ronaldo is rampant now! Resplendent Ronaldo! Two for him, two for Brazil, and is that their fifth World Cup? 79 minutes gone, it's Brazil 2, Germany 0, and Kahn is crestfallen. Well, that was a great goal. They just know how to suck you in. And... Now Linker. This is Torsten Frings. Oh, chance! Great save by Marcos from Oliver Bierhoff. That was a great save. Well played there, Frings. He knocked it in and on the swivel, Bierhoff. A free kick, though, to Germany, and there's danger here, and Marcos is caught out. He started to come, and he wouldn't have got there. Oh, Juninho did well there, he's away. He's got Rivaldo to his left and Ronaldo's further over and he's played the wrong ball. Well, I think it was a right ball, but it was a bad ball. <laughs> he was trying to square it uh, to Rivaldo. Coach just uh, running down the clock a bit here with another substitute. And Ronaldo actually will not be on the field when the match ends. But there's a roar going up to uh, greet his departure. And De Nielsen takes his place. The Brazilian subs are off the bench. They're waving, screaming for the final whistle. The play goes on. Rivaldo is in the centre. Janinho is backing up here. This is De Nielsen. Little back heel to Janinho. And I make the three minutes now have elapsed. But De Nielsen doesn't want to know about that. He's trying to go past Asamoa now. Is the referee going to pick up the ball and sound the final whistle? And he does. And Brazil win the World Cup for the fifth time. And Ronaldo, the woebegone figure of four years ago, is now a World Cup winner. In France, he made headlines because he'd been in hospital. Tonight, he makes headlines as a hero scoring the two goals by which Brazil beat Germany in the first ever World Cup meeting between the two nations. Oliver Kahn is distraught. Brazil are delighted. Their supporters are delirious. 
Spontaneous skill still stirs the soul for football lovers everywhere. And, well, no wonder they're carrying him off on their shoulders. What a storybook finish to the World Cup. Well, they were beginning to say it was the tournament of the underdog, but Ronaldo is top dog, and he's also top scorer, with eight in the championship, the winner of the golden boot, the best record for a striker for over 30 years. And indeed, the first time since 1970, since the brilliant Brazilians won an, a World Cup final in normal time. Trevor Brooking. Well, great celebrations, and... Nobody could begrudge Ronaldo. That, I mean, when you think of what he went through four years ago, that, when we scurried around that uh, commentary position, because he was in and out, and then he was in, never, ever really recovered over the last three or four years, and suddenly he's going to be in the headlines all over the world. Well, that's certainly true. And just one little thing here, little point, is that Brazil also make a little piece of history now. <laughs> From their point of view, it's unfortunate. They do not qualify automatically for the next World Cup by being holders. The rules have been changed. They will have to qualify once all these uh, <laughs> celebrations die down. And Germany, as hosts next time, have automatic qualification. That's a slight back-to-front end to the evening, but just look at this.